Hey everyone, this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. Uh, real quick today, I want to show you something really cool I came across, which is a way to add notes to Gmail. So I'm going to go into that and show you one, why I think it's important, and two, how you can quickly add this to your own setup. Um, real quick, if you want, you can subscribe to the channel below to get productivity videos on a weekly basis. Um, also in the description below, you can sign up and hop on uh, the email list. And what I do that with that is send out some um, stuff from time to time just to subscribers, a little bit, something extra, asking for feedback, things like that. So if you're interested in finding out more about the Productivity Academy and getting some more tips and stuff like that, by all means, please uh, sign up. All right, let's dive into this. Um, this is really cool. It's going to be a short video, um, but I came across this because I was wanting to make notes on emails. I do not use or recommend using emails as like your productivity strategy, but there are times where I just want to make a note, like when I'm replying and asking for some information, or maybe I'm at reaching out and I'm not to the point where I want to ask somebody for something specific, but it, <clears throat> I don't want to wait on their um, response. I don't want to go into my notebook and set a reminder. I don't want to go into Todoist and, you know, write myself a note to get back to this person once they've responded and ask them this question, things like that. So this looks really handy. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say um, Haley from Buffer. <laughs> let's say I wanted to send them back something at Buffer and, and wait for their response. So all you'd have to do is go over here and you can just look um, simple Gmail notes extension and Firefox, or you can add this in Chrome. I believe there's either the same or similar. Um, and what you can do is you just click add. If you're in Firefox, go through that. And once you reload in Gmail, you're good to go. Um, and then the next step, once you go in, you can see where this box would be, but you just have to connect your drive account. Say, yep, I want them to be able to access my drive. Give them a minute. And there you go. Now we can say, let's say I wrote back a response and said, you know, thanks. How about sending me XYZ or XPS? <laughs> XYZ. Thanks, Adam. Okay, now I'm going to pretend like I sent that and I want to say, you know, when they respond, send them back or send them back ABC. Okay, and this is nice. Now I can go ahead and do that. If I click send, um, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to send it and see what they say to me. <laughs> Anyways, so we've got that saved in there. So now let's go back into the inbox. And if I go back here, you can see it's saved right there. So pretty handy, super simple, um, really powerful. I like it. It's nice. It's self-contained. You don't see it when you're not in the email tab or in the individual email. So I find that really handy. Definitely going to start using that uh, to take care of little things that I don't want to set reminders for, you know, or get it outside of Gmail. I can take care of it right there. It's kind of that two minute task idea. If I can handle it in here and it's done until I see something back from them, that's awesome. So hopefully that helps you out. Again, that's available in both Chrome and Firefox, um, simple Gmail notes. And I believe there's a couple others like this. I'm sure you can set it up exactly how you want. So. Anyways, if you like this, please uh, subscribe below or drop me a line and you can send me an email to adam at productivity.academy. Um, let me know how you like it or if you've got any ideas for uh, future videos or requests for reviews or anything like that, let me know and we'll see what we can do. All right. Thanks for watching.